men who perform oral sex on their partners are more likely to get a rare form of mouth and throat cancer. Smokers who have had more than five sexual partners are also at greater risk of developing the cancer triggered by the human papilloma virus. Men who perform oral sex on their partners have a high risk of contracting a rare form of mouth or throat cancer, according to new research. Smokers who have had more than five sexual partners are at even greater risk of developing the cancer triggered by the human papilloma virus HPV, which is the main cause of cervical cancer. Two HPV types, 16 and 18, cause 70% of cervical cancers and precancerous cervical lesions, according to the World Health Organization. But scientists say that only 0.7% of men 7 in every 1,000 will ever develop HPV-related oropharyngeal cancer in their lifetimes. The risk was much lower among women, those who did not smoke, and those who had less than 5 viral sex partners in their lifetimes. Film star Michael Douglas was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2013 and he famously seemed to suggest it was brought on by HPV infection contracted through cunnilingus and estimated 8 out of 10 British adults will be infected with the HPV virus at some point in their lives. Oral sex is leading to more mouth cancers new study shows linked to disease. There are hundreds of different types of HPV and well most are harmless around well can cause cancer. HPV 16 or 18 triggers most cervical cancer while HPV 16 most throat cancer. It is transmitted to the mouth and throat mostly by performing oral sex and appears to cause about 70% of oropharyngeal cancer. These cancers appear at the back of the throat, base of the tongue, or tonsils. HPV-related oropharyngeal cancers approximately tripled in British men and doubled in British women between 1995 and 2011. But the number of cases of oropharyngeal cancer is predicted to overtake cervical cancer by 2020, a scientist from associate professor Amber DSOUZA of Johns Hopkins Blue School of Public Health and yes, said. For these reasons, it would be useful to be able to identify healthy people who are most at risk of developing oropharyngeal cancer in order to inform potential screening strategies if effective screening tests could be developed. Most people perform oral sex in their lives, and we found that oral infection with cancer causing HPV is rare among women regardless of how many oral sex partners they had. Among men who did not smoke, cancer causing oral HPV is rare among everyone who had less than 5 oral sex partners, although the chances of having oral HPV infection did increase with number of oral sexual partners, and with smoking. The study analyzed behavior and medical records of 13,089 people aged 20 to 69 taking part in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey in HANES who had been tested for oral HPV infection. It used the numbers of oropharyngeal cancer cases and deaths to predict the risk of cancer from oral HPV infection in ages 20 to 69, for example, had a frequency of infection of just over 1%, compared to 6% for men ages 20 to 69. Men ages 50 to 59 were most likely to have an infection at 8.1% of any age group. Oral sex was clearly associated with a higher prevalence of infection, although the highest infection prevalence was seen only among men. Women with 10 or more lifetime oral sex partners had a relatively low 3.0% prevalence of infection, whereas for men with 10 or more lifetime oral sex partners the figure was 14.4%. Prevalence of infection for those reporting 0 or 1 lifetime oral sex partner was consistently low, between 0 and 2.4%.